All right. Well, in my constant pursuit of making better video, I bought a new camera. Bought a GoPro 9. Um, I like the fact I can take the lens off because this one, I don't know, it's got some speckles on it. It doesn't really show up in video, but anyways. And then I bought, I don't know, this thing because I've got a head strap and I was trying to do a review of the 450. And by the way, this is what it sounds like. I mean, that sounds pretty good to me. Um, anyways, I'm pulling the excavator today. It's a BIO 50, 11,400 11, pounds. Machine configuration, buckets a couple hundred pounds. Um, so I'm gonna put this on because I actually have to run over to Corey's house and pick up a tree. We're doing the last day of trees today. And uh, he's got a pretty decent hill pulling grade up there. But when I was looking at buying the 7.3, I really didn't find a lot of people doing actual towing of equipment you know they'd say oh this dump trailer has you know x amount of weight in it well you know what that excavator weighs if you don't you can look it up you can figure out what it weighs um anyways so i'm gonna see i'm gonna see what what i can put on me camera wise here i got a couple different like i don't know mount things we'll just use this one and i'll get the nine set up and then when we get over to corey's house I'll go ahead and uh, get the nine rolling. That way we can get footage of this pulling up that grade. And then I'll go ahead and do a couple different uh, short spurts on pulling it up some hills going up. Uh, oh, a main highway that I usually go up. So anyways, give me a second. I'm going to get set up and we'll get over there and we'll uh, see if I can get a little bit better video for you today. And then I'm going to continue to do this because I've already had four or five friends ask me, Hey, how does that thing pull? Um, what does it pull like? How do you like it compared to your 6.7? We can't find a video that we like. So I'm gonna try to get some video out there. Maybe it'll help you guys make a decision. So uh, give me a little bit and we'll get to rolling. Well, I figure we do a little more video driving home. Just a little bit of highway stuff, but I figured this way we could, uh, you could see Toho and traffic and whatever else. About half pedal there, baby. We've got the excavator on. Our gear snack. I don't know if you can see that there. Pulling a grade here. I don't know if you can see that. Let's do that. That way you can see pulling a grade.
brakes on this hill, but this next hill is pretty steep. Let's see if we have to brake going down it. I'm sure there's always traffic here. It's 515, so we'll have some traffic. I didn't even accelerate anymore and it just use what fuel all is already doing and downshift it. Just hit the brake, downshift it once, downshift it twice, that's surprising, but I was braking not hard, but about medium, I guess. I'm surprised it downshifted a second time there, but that's why, because I was braking a little hard. I'm usually, I usually try to get in the other lane, but I keep having cars pop out there. Okay. Duck out of here, because that car popped back in. goes down like every gear oh this will be fun well that's the end of the video guys we got a wreck up here or something this is always fun we'll be here for a while uh well well we got through construction and this is a pretty steep hill up here it's steep and real long um but we'll show you i've i've honestly never pulled this hill with this truck i hope you can see the gauges you can see that up there I hope you can see the gauges, man. They are like about black in the phone, or I mean in the camera. But anyways, we'll get up to speed. I don't need to have all these people from construction trying to get over in front of me, because normally people will get over in front of me, and then what we do is we want to go ahead and go five under the speed limit. Well. I at least try to carry five over the speed limit running up a hill like this. So, well, we got the excavator on. Let's run up to about 65. I would assume. I don't know what. I don't know what we'll need to run in this truck. First time I pulled the hill with the excavator on. Almost 12,000 pounds. So we're about half pedal, 67 mile an hour. I know we're speeding. Still the same pedal. Still half pedal. I haven't given it any more pedal. 7.3 gas, 488 gears, and a 450 in a 2020 F450, I just let off the fuel. That's pretty impressive. My 6.2 wouldn't do that. You had to make a pretty good run for it and it would have downshifted at least once. And I had a 6.2 and a one ton with 430 gears. So that, that's pretty impressive. Um, I've, told, I've had multiple people ask me about this truck and ask me what I thought and ask me if I missed my 6.7. And I, I really thought that this truck was going to be closer to a 6.2. Honestly, I think it's closed the gap, and it's gotten you really close to a, a 
diesel. I mean, I, I, I really think the 7.3 with 488s or 430 gears and the 10 speed, I really think it's closing the gap up. We'll see if we stop at this light up here because this is a hard light when you have to stop at this light and run up this hill from a dead stop. It, I mean, it's not super tough in a, a diesel, but it was always tough in my 6.2. We're not going to have to stop at it. So, all right, well, we don't have crazy hard hills. I mean, they're all, you know, about like this, but you can see I'm not giving it any more fuel, maybe half pedal or so. Let's drop, what, 150 RPMs maybe? Really kept the mile an hour up. I mean, the truck does good, guys. I wouldn't be afraid of it. And I'm pulling 11,500 pounds right now. So, plus 11,500 pounds sitting on a 3,700 pound trailer. So, uh, anyways, we'll, uh, we'll get more towing videos. We'll get some harder areas and stuff like this. This is my main run. I run, I run here quite a bit, like every day. This runs right to my house. So, anyways, uh, have a good weekend.